Pizza review time. Uh, we, stool. Yes, we are in Springfield, Mass. Uh, Red Rose. One of the places as I'm walking, I'm like, okay, we, we, we finally hit a good spot. You can tell it's been here forever. 1963, um, the Caputo family, we met the owner. She was telling me the story. So they've been in this location like 40 years. They're where the casino was um, before that, it sounded like. And she's like, come in, bring the camera in, and we'll give you the whole... By the way, the place is gigantic. As big, I think, a pizza place as I feel like I've ever been in, to be honest. Like maybe um, some of the Chicago, like the, the Grimaldi's and the original locations like that. Some of those guys are huge. But around here, this place, just huge. I mean, I, we'll see it on the inside, but a gigantic spot. Tons of people working by the kitchen. They did say, and it says right here, cafe, lounge, banquet facilities, the works. Um, they did say a girl who's like, I'm a big fan, I wish you got the small. Because this is this is huge, by the way. Even the pizza's big, 26 bucks. And it comes out like that, the squares. I guess the small, you can get the circle slice. Um, anyways, this looks really good. I don't even know what style I would put this in. It kind of looks thick, but still a little bit well done. It could be up my alley. It's a good looking little, I, don't, I mean, it's a tiny little, cute little slice. Uh, one bite, everybody knows the rules. Still very hot, see what we got. Oh, you can come right on through. See, I think it's just everyone in Springfield, happy birthdays, weddings, anniversaries, whatever it is, to come to the Red Rose. That's the vibe I'm getting here. Um, see what we got. What is that? It's not Detroit style. Huh. What's confusing me? It has a crisp that I like, but it's super thick. Very unusual, but up my alley, kind of. Um, what a weird pizza. I mean that in a good way. I don't have much I can compare this to. A lot of dough, obviously, on this one. Um, I'm gonna take this very seriously. I also like the Caputo lady. She's like, everyone told me you should, I should have you guys come here, but I didn't want to invite you because we'd get a bad score. I'd want to punch you in the face. I'm between a 7 9 and an 8 1. I did not think I would like this pizza as much, but I actually really, really like it. Now, I would never give something like that an 8-1. Like, if you have no crust, you can't be an 8-1 in my book. But I'm picking slices with crust. Seven nine. But a super unique pizza. Like, this is, I've never, I, I can't even place it in my mind. The crunch and the char with the thickness, it's like in between Detroit styles, in between the place in Pennsylvania that says they're the capital, it's in between almost like a New Haven, kind of a mix, 7-9, really, really good. Um, I'm glad we finally got here. Red Rose, Springfield, Mass. I don't know the last time. Was Springfield where we did the um, Mass Mutual DCU Center, where we had a riot on the blackout tour, and I got like banned from coming back here? That may be why I haven't been back. But anyways, Red Rose, great fruit. Burn the crap out of my mouth. That's a review. Um, we'll get some people. So it was very good. It's unique. Very I would have given you a triangle you, slice you if think we had known. Ours, well, that's where my parents are from. But so. this is a Neapolitan. Well, I mean, what would you consider it? I don't know. I mean, Neapolitan is going to be the soft, floppy stuff. Oh. This is not that at all. This is kind of like a combo between. Detroit style and like you do a thicker crust for yeah. sure. Yeah, and but but it's crispy like New Haven. Yeah. It, it's I liked it. I've never had really anything like it. I definitely want to say New. Can I take a picture with you? Yeah, of course. Yeah. Thank you. So this is the owner. This is the family yes. that said she didn't invite me because she punched me if I didn't like it. <laughs> Not true. <laughs> well, so obviously in here and then get the kitchen a little bit. Yes, you're more than welcome to go Thank in. You. Absolutely. Well, thank you. Appreciate Good stuff. Unique. Okay. No, I mean, we don't have to bother with them. I just wanted to get a sense how big it was. And then you guys said the other side? 
So we have a whole other kitchen next door as well, too. Yeah. Can we take a look at that? Yeah, how's it going for us? Good. How are you? Good. Want me to show you the other yeah, side? Yeah, definitely. Right. This is a whole other side. Crazy big. Yeah. What's the capacity? Like, how many seats do you got? About, well, in total, about six. How you doing? Good. How are you? All right. Okay. About six. Six yeah. And this kitchen was new right before COVID. I Pizza kitchen here. Holy moly. Kitchen here. Yeah, this is one of the biggest pizza places I've ever been in. Yeah. Do you mind if my daughter and my niece are going to Of course not. Okay. They run the front of the house now. Yeah. I'm the old generation that's got to start to back down. This is the new generation. All right, let's do it. All right, Dustin. Can you grab me three bottles of water? Yeah, for them. Thank you. Look at this. Look at the kitchen this way. It's even right. bigger on this side. Oh. Keep going. Keep going. Oh, yes. Right? Pizza. Good, I like this. Unique. Yeah, that originally started. It's now the prep kitchen. Got it. Yeah. All the dough in. Oh, yeah. We make our own bread. Huge operation. Yeah, it's crazy. Is. It is. Uh, I love it. I wouldn't have gotten into any other business but this. <laughs> well, I'm glad. <laughs> my father all, I, makes all become something first. So I, I became a CPA, my sister became a dentist, and my brother went yeah, to, he's not here right now. So before you go, get in the picture. Oh, I got one. Well, I like you. You're pretty. <laughs> it's because I'm going to be your mother-in-law. That's, That's it. it. Awesome. Cool. All right. Thank you. Very nice <laughs> meeting you guys. Yeah. Nice to meet Take you. Take care. Bye. Thank you.